is a short video footage about how to connect an internal USB-A connector or a port to the Lenovo Mix 2.8. First I have to say I bought this device in Hong Kong half year ago without the 3G uh, option because it was not available. In Germany at this moment you only can get the Lenovo Mix with 32 gigabytes and without the 3G, 3G connection. So um, I I thought about how to connect a 3G card or a USB card inside the Lenovo and figured out how how to connect a USB connector there. So this is the uh, USB A form factor uh, connector. I hope you can see it. It doesn't get um, out of focus right now. My, I don't know why. I found out that on this main board there are two connectors or two pins for USB data plus and data minus. So the data line is already there. And I tried to figure out the last uh, one or two weeks where is a 5 volt source for the USB connector. So far I can say I did not find any 5 volt source to connect the, or to power up external devices but I found out that there is a port it, it is this here where the um, orange and black cable are soldered uh, this is for a sensor or something I don't know what uh, Lenovo puts inside there on the main board but there are 3.3 volts and the ground there don't care for these other two cables on this side. Um, a short explanation. This is um, they, these pins are maybe short cutted to the uh, connected to the USB connector. So there are if you connect the cable from a charger, there are five volts inside. So to turn around this, you can say you can put a five volt source here. And you can charge the Lenovo Mix with it. So I tried to figure out or try to find out if it's possible to connect a QI wireless inductive charger or charger receiver there and uh, to power up the device with this charger. I don't have one here but I um, today I found out that this backplate which Lenovo did to the Lenovo Mix is from aluminium so it's not possible to charge through this aluminium maybe I try to make a port outside and put the receiver on the back uh, cover and charge it with this then but this is a future um, project and right now I'm much more uh, after the USB port the internal USB port so, yeah, um, this is the USB port I, I said uh, before. The cables go here to the main port. Here is the power source and the rest don't care for it. It's only for testing purposes and to show how it works or not works. We will see. Um, I figured out that in this condition the Lenovo is, is not the stable device because the back cover uh, is missing and it's not... Uh, yeah, maybe there are some shortcuts or something, but um, right now it's in good condition and it's working. Okay, here's the display. That's good. It's waking up again. Go back to portrait mode. I think it's much better. So, before we start, I want to make a, a short walkthrough. Different devices. I have a 4 gigabyte USB stick uh, Android version. Maybe you like it, you cannot buy it anywhere because they are really uh, not often built or sold worldwide. So this is the 4 GB device. Um, after this I will try maybe a um, uh, USB mouse, a small one, a miniature um, USB mouse. Then we go again for a different emission uh, USB stick with 4 GB. After this, 
we go for a card reader, USB 3.0 card reader. It's maybe uh, it, you can connect it to USB 2.02, but we will see what happens. There's a small card inside. Yeah, we tried this after. Um, then I want to show you a USB camera. Stop, where is the cable? Not that you think it's a fake or something. This is a USB A connector and a cheap camera. And at the end we go for a USB Wi-Fi connection antenna, okay? This is a full USB card uh, for Wi-Fi. So, I would say Let's start. Maybe. Oh no, stop. I, I have here one device too. It's a USB um, light or something. A reading light or reading um, torch. I don't know how to, how to call it. Okay. So let's start. We are ri right now in the um, Lenovo Mix. I go back to, to the main screen. Okay, so right now, before we start, because this um, is really, really only for testing purpose, this connector here, I will go for a for a cable, for a USB connection cable, because it's much easier um, to hold this or this to connect the device than this one here with the small cables. I have to solder it inside if I know what I do with it I will solder the device inside without any uh, USB connection for future uh, propose but um, right now I will only connect this not to damage anything there for these testings so I have here right now the USB um, A connector and I would say we start with my small Android a USB stick 4 gigabytes so for this I go for home for a computer you see here's um oh my god what is this this is my um phone this is the main uh, drive the ssd the emmc drive inside and connect this okay here it is and yeah there are some folders on side 400 i don't know what it is don't care okay this one is this is working so far. Next, we go for the Imation 4 gigabyte uh, USB stick. I connect this, so it's flashing. We go back to the computer, and voila! Here it is. We can try. Oh, maybe there are some. Yeah, there are some videos on on the device. Chibik, chibik, chibik. Oh, who's this? <laughs> okay, yeah. So far, it can it can load data and it works so far. No problem with this. After this, we try the transcend. Um, oh, oh, it's called. I don't know. I bought this a few weeks ago for um powering up USB 3 connector and different cards, SD cards and micro SD cards. So it's flashing right now. Is it here? It is. So right now I will um, pull off the card and we will see what's happening here with the device. Okay, it goes away. And with this, it comes again. So far, this is working too. Go away. Yeah, right now I try to get the light. You can see the light here. I will do it like this, this that you can see what's happening. Oh, yeah, like this. Where is it? It's really hard to figure out with the uh, watching the camera and putting the device inside. It's working, but I think the lights are really um, 
dark. So uh, this can come, or this is uh, maybe from the 3.3 volt, 3 .3 volt source, because there is no 5 volt source available. So I'm sure, or I tried a little bit around with um, HDD drives, or hard disk drives. Um, if you have a high power consumption device, it will not work because uh, the voltage or something is is stopping inside the Lenovo Mix. They it don't accept too much power um, output on this part because we are only at 3.3 volts. Maybe I don't know what's happening there, but it doesn't work so far. Yeah, after this we go. I have to go for a test. This is the camera. I put it here. After this, I connect it to my um, connector to the mix. So we cannot see anything. That's why I have to go for somewhere. I have Skype on it, webcam settings. Oh my god, where is it? No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Oh yeah, you can choose the webcam. I go for USB camera. Oh, go. Oh, this is the wrong one. Is the other one? It's really tiny. Yeah, now I'm a USB camera. You can see this. I will hold the Lenovo here. You can see. So the USB camera is working too. Really good. Yeah, it's working, you can see it. So, USB camera is working too. It's an active device, really active device. After this we go for... I have a small USB and mouse here. You can see, I will connect this to the Lenovo and we will see what happening. At this moment I have a, a cursor here. I can stop, stop, and can start. So this is working too, only with 3.3 .3 volts. Okay, and the best thing so far, um, now it's not available because I turned off the internal Wi-Fi of the, of the Lenovo Mix. So right now I try to uh, connect I, I connected before, so it will uh, recognize the device and will start to connect to my uh, internal or local uh, Wi-Fi, and uh, you will see what's happening here. So there's a second Wi-Fi, and it will connect to the next. So right now, so right now I have um, stop. We can make refresh. Okay, this is refreshed. Okay, we go, stop, we go for Google. Google. I don't know what it is, Google. So, it gets connection through this because the internal is off at the moment. So, um, yeah, it works so far. Now we can go again for stop. Go for my home page where I have some much more I have much more information about the Lenovo. Here you can see uh, the process to connect everything and to figure out how to how it works. So all this is coming from from this a Wi-Fi connector. If I disconnect this right now, we will see Windows 8 doesn't have any device for uh, internet connection. So if I go for maybe I go for like uh, it will not work. So the Wi-Fi connection is working too. Yeah, this was a, a small walk through uh, different USB devices. 
Uh, so far, hard disk drives does not, does not work, high consumption or high power devices on USB do not work. You cannot get the highest data rate through it, so USB 3.0, I don't think it's possible at this a moment and with this device. Um, on the back you have, you have um, on the non-3G -G version you have a, um, a space in, in, in the frame or in the, in the, yeah, in the device um, for about 5 millimeters height, uh, 30 millimeters to the side and 60 millimeters long. So you can put inside different devices like 3G modems, NFC, SD cards to expand your memory or different kind of things. I will I will do some more testing and I will get get this device finished without the cables hanging around and the cover closed. And I hope I can get a small, a really small and tiny 3G stick which I can uh, dismantle and, and, and build inside the back of the device so it, I have internet everywhere. This is maybe a cheap version or a hard and cheap version but it should be possible at this moment. For further information please visit my internet blog www net. You can see the link, you can get a link in the description and going there and following there what's going on in the future months and weeks. So I would say at this moment see you and bye.